Things are changing very quickly and very dramatically when it comes to lighting on vehicles. The people at Varrock Lighting happy to show off some of their final work and also some of the devices that make all of this happen. Advances are coming very quickly in the lighting field. That's why suppliers need advanced manufacturing and advanced research facilities. Varrock's Plymouth Township Lab allows them to validate current systems and come up with new ones. State of the art is now LED. As uh, the technology matures, LEDs get brighter and you'll see more implementation of laser technology. You'll see more light on the road and that's really going to enhance the safety for the driver. <laughs> LEDs can be mass produced at a relatively low cost with high reliability and a pretty small packaging size. Software can control and change the direction to better light up the road ahead and not blind oncoming traffic. Now the next step is lasers. So because it's a focused and concentrated beam, we can really manipulate that much more tighter so we can get much more downfield punch. So in a typical system where high beam might be 300 meters down the road, we can advance that up to 600 meters down the road. Now the traditional light bulb is still used in some small, less expensive vehicles, but it's rapidly becoming an endangered species as LEDs and lasers become much more cost effective. I'm AutoBeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.